Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian and I thought I would try something that I've honestly always wanted to do. I just haven't done it until now. Some of you may not know this, but I love classic Hollywood. I'm talking Judy Garland, Lana Turner, Joan Crawford, Hedy Lamarr. So today I thought I would do a look inspired by Hedy Lamarr in Ziegfeld Girl. If you saw the image, you would recognize it. It's her with like all the stars everywhere and she just looks stunningly gorgeous. I've always loved this image of her and I just wanted to recreate it. So today I'm gonna do that and of course it's not me transforming into her, it's me doing my own inspired look on it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into the tutorial. I'm gonna start with the Tatcha Silk Canvas because I really wanna have smooth and poreless skin. So I'm mainly putting this on the areas where my pores are a lot larger. Have you ever met someone with no pores? It's so confusing. How do they do it? For foundation today, I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Vanilla, Vanilla? In Vanilla. Um, I was gonna do a, a super matte foundation, but honestly, my skin is just, it's dry, so it's not gonna happen for me, but I can make this matte, you know? I use this every day at home. I just never use it here on my channel. It's the Clarisonic with the foundation brush head, and it's bomb. I use this almost every freaking day. I love it. Anyways, I'm gonna build my foundation to the coverage I want. So for my under eyes, I'm using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer, and this is in the shade Latte. I like this shade because it has a little bit of a peachy tone to it. I'm placing this right into the dark spots of my eyes. This is a Smashbox Precise Highlight Brush. I think it's for cheek highlight, but I really like it for my concealer like really pushes the concealer into the skin and makes it look just a little bit more natural. This is Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. This one's new. I have the shade 21, so that last color, color corrected. Now I'm going to brighten a little bit with this one. I just got it last week. I mainly use it like as a topper over another concealer. It blends into the skin really nicely. It has a skin-like finish too. Now I'm going to set my under eye, and this is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. Pretty much my whole face, except for my contour. Gorge, love, beautiful, wow. So I wanna do my eyebrows, and I think I'm gonna try and go for like a more rounded brow shape, but we'll see how that goes, because I've programmed myself to do one brow shape and one brow shape only. This is the Balm Cosmetics Ferocious Brow Pencil, and I have the shade Light Brown. I was gonna try and cover my brows, but to be completely honest, I suck at it. I need to practice more. It takes a lot of patience. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation and clean it up. So I have my brows on and now I'm just gonna dust off the loose powder and then I'm gonna move on to my contour. I also put eyeshadow primer on while we were away. The Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer just on my lids. And then I usually just kind of dust the excess loose powder over my eyes. Set the primer. Smashbox Contour Palette. I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is the, like the OG contour palette. I'm gonna press this into the hollows of my cheeks. Man, I don't know why I stopped using this contour palette. It's the best, it's the best contour shade. I'm also going to come right along the forehead. And then the sides of my nose. I'm gonna try my best. I usually suck at con- Why am I putting myself down? I'm great at contouring my nose. I'm going back to my Smashbox contour palette with this shade right here and a fluffy crease brush. I wanna put this right into the inner part of my eye to kind of create a shadow and then also on my crease. Do you remember pop-up video? Pop-up video. This is the, fe what happened to this poor palette? The Festival by Juvia's Place. I just mainly want it for this peachy tone color right here. Boop. 
Boop. It's matte, doesn't have any shimmer to it. This is going to be my lid shade. I switched to a fluffier brush just because I wanted it to be a light wash of color versus like, like a lot of pigment on the lid. I wanna try and do the thinnest, teeniest, tiniest baby liquid liner right here on the edge of my eye, but mama's got the shakes. And sometimes it gets really challenging. This is Mayron 1927 liquid vinyl makeup. So it's a liquid liner and it comes with this brush as well. So middle of my lash line outwards. I did it, wow. I'm gonna put on a pair of eyelashes. Well, mascara and a pair of eyelashes and I'll be right back. I put on these lashes by Bold Face Makeup and this pair is called Lashes for Days. I went a little bit more dramatic with them, just a little. And then I put on the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in 104, it's just a white shade, just a line in here. And then some mascara. I'm gonna line my lips with MAC Lip Liner in Ruby Woo. Oh, that's just beautiful. This is like a pinky. Ooh, I have to do this one. Ah! This is NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. That's why it's so intense. And it's a shade Don't Stop. I'm gonna add a little bit more bronze because sometimes when you put on a lip, I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden you need more bronzer. Yeah. Let's add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna take this blush right here. It's called King Pen. It's like a peachy tone. I'm gonna add a bit of gloss just like right here in the center of my lips. This is M Cosmetics True Gloss in Blood Moon. It almost looks more orangey, huh? Right in here. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Ew, 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 ew. Ooh, Revlon, Maybelline? I'm gonna do my hair finish off the look. This is the finished look. Ooh, this is a pretty look. I don't know why I don't go for softer matte looks like this. I really am enjoying it on my face. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this tutorial and this little throwback that I did. Let me know if you wanna see more classic Hollywood inspired looks down below. I hope you have a good day today. You make good choices. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.